using factorization to evaluate limits using factorization what you're going to notice is if you directly plug in two you're going to get zero over zero if you plug two here if you plug in two look what you get two to the four which is 16 minus 16 but that would be wrong over two square is four minus four which would be wrong because then you get zero over zero but that can't be the limit zero over zero that's crazy so let's clear away that and do the correct thing what you're gonna have to do as the word suggests up here is factorize we need to remove where the function where the function is said to be discontinuous at x equal two so to do that we're gonna factorize x to the four minus 16 to factorize it it's going to be by the way, don't forget to write your limit sign. You have to write that this is equal to the limit. We put lim for the short and for limit. It's the limit as x approaches two of factorize the numerator. Then to factorize the numerator, you're gonna use the formula a to the n minus b to the n. So it's gonna be x minus two times. So your a is x, your b is two, then it's times x cube x cube plus you decrease the power of x now so it's going to be x square it's going to be x square times a so it's going to be x square times a which is 2 times your x square which is 2x square plus then it's going to be now plus x times a square a square is 4 so it is times four times X, then it is plus A cube. A cube, A is two. Two cube is eight. So that's how you'd factorize the numerator using A to the N minus B to the N. All being divided by X squared minus four is X minus two times X plus two. X minus two times X plus two. This is what we shall get x minus 2 times x plus 2. Then, as you can clearly see, this x minus 2 cancels this x minus 2. And so what we're left back with is to just evaluate the limit of x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 8 over x plus 2. But now, guess what? We can directly now plug in x as 2. Plug in x as 2 here now. And it's going to be 2 cube plus 2 times 2 square, which is really 2 times 4. This is 2 times 4. Plus, it's then 4 times 2 plus 4 times 2. Yeah. And then we're adding that back or 8. We have plus 8. And then we're going to divide this now by directly plug in your x as 2 in the denominator plugging in x as 2 we get 2 plus 2 is 4. so this is what the limit works out to be so you add that up now 2 cube is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 8 is 24 plus 8 is 32 so you end up get 32 over 2 plus 2 is Four, so you end up with 32 over 4, which is 8. So the limit is 8. Easy, soft. Now, I think the Casio calculator right here should be able to do it. So to do it with the Casio calculator, we're going to evaluate the limit. Let me see. This is log. This is differentiation, integration. There is a limit somewhere right here. This is summation. Um, not seeing a limit right here. So what I will do is we're gonna check the answer. Use four power minus 16 divided by 
x raised to the second power minus four. So we evaluate this limit. There we go, eight. Just like what we got, eight. Nice. We got our eight, they got their eight. Easy, got their eight, soft. Now, one thing I want to also point out is that there's an alternate method of doing this if you don't want to know factorization. So let's call it method two. Method two is known as L'Hopital's rule. Method two, which is L'Hopital's rule, it requires a different technique. So let's write down about what the question wanted. To evaluate the limit as x approaches two, limit as x approaches two of x to the four minus 16 over x squared minus four. Now what L'Hopital rule tell us to do is that Whenever you directly plug in x as two and you get zero over zero, you can differentiate both sides and evaluate the limit of the differential. What does that mean? We can evaluate the limit as x approaches two of, you differentiate x to four minus 16, and what you would get is four x cubed divided by, you differentiate x squared minus four, you would get 2x. Now, when you do that now, a x out here cancels a x from the denominator. And so what we would end up get is the limit. We end up get the limit as x approaches 2 of. If a x cancel out a x, what we get is 4x squared over 2. 4x squared over 2. And so if you plug in x as two, now two square is four, four times four is 16. So when you plug in two now, you would get 16 over two and 16 over two is eight. So it's the same answer we get, soft. Now, evaluate the limit as x approaches three of x square minus x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x squared minus x minus 6. Now to evaluate these limits, it if you directly plug in 3 again, you're going to get 9, 0 over 0. Once you're getting 0 over 0, we know we're going to have to use factorization. So in this example, it's going to work out to be equal to the limit as x approaches 3 of, we're going to have to factorize the and the denominator. This is a quadratic, you know how to factorize quadratic linear factors in the numerator and two linear factors in the denominator. So it has to be 3 and 1, this is plus. Then we need x squared minus x minus 6. This is x. x. Signs are different. The greater product negative. So that's minus 3. And this is plus 2. Let's check. This times this. x squared. This times this minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. Yeah, that's good. And so this x minus 3 cancels this x minus 3. Good. So what this works out to be now is we can directly plug in x as 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4 over 3 plus 2 is 5. So that's what we get. The limit as x approaches 3 for this question is 4 over 5. Now, if we are going to, if we are going to use an alternate method or if we're going to use an alternate method or what is going to happen is you can use L'Hopital's rule. As I said, L'Hopital's rule, whenever you're getting zero over zero, you can just differentiate the numerator and the denominator. So differentiating this numerator, 
right? So we want the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x squared minus x minus 6 over x squared minus x minus 6. So this is what we want. To evaluate this limit, we're just going to evaluate the limit of the differential, which is the limit as x approaches 3 of differentiating this, it's going to be 2x minus 2 over, this is just going to be 2x minus 1. Then now we can plug in the 3. Plug in the 3, now you get 2 times 3 is 6. So you end up getting 6 minus 2 over, plug in the 3 now, 2 times 3 is 6. So that's 6 minus 1. 6 minus 2 is 4. 6 minus 1 is 5. So that's 4 over 5. Easy. Soft. So the limit is 4 over 5. And that's it. Nice and easy. So that's how we evaluate it.